So, verse 9, here is the mind which has wisdom. Which is the mind that has wisdom? It is the mind of Christ. It is the only mind that has wisdom is the mind of Christ. And here is the mind which has wisdom. Blessed is the soul that has the mind of Christ. Because when you have the mind of Christ, you are walking in wisdom. And if you don't have it, then there is ignorance opposite to wisdom. Blessed, here is the mind which has wisdom, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. All glory to his holy name. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sits. There are also seven kings, five have fallen, which are the five. Egyptian Empire, Assyrian Empire, Babylonian Empire, Persian and Medais Empire, and the Greek Empire. These have fallen. And then one is the Roman Empire, and the other has not yet come, the British Empire. And when he comes, he must continue a short time. British Empire remained for a short time and was slain at the end of World War II. The beast that was and is not is himself also the eighth. UN, United Nations is the eighth, which is of the seven and is going to perdition. United Nations will perish from the face of this earth eventually. Verse 12. The ten horns which you saw are ten kings who have received no kingdom as yet, but they receive authority for one hour as kings with the beast. Now, in this, I'll just give you this thought. The ten kings which have not received uh, authority yet it is said that these ten kings will come out of Europe it is said that they will be ten countries united out of Europe because one of the interpretations that the Roman Empire even though it fell but it did not disappear entirely because the Roman Empire is the EU of our days the European nations or the European Union. This is the Roman Empire of our time. However, they are not all united, but there will be 10 countries that will come together. What will they do to this woman? Verse 13, these are of one mind and they will give their power and authority to the beast. When you look at Europe, do, do you see atheism sweeping your Europe? Where is Europe now? The churches are now nothing but empty buildings, museums, and God knows what else they've been turned into. They are losing faithfuls left, right, and center. You go to the European countries one by one. Once upon a time, they were built. They were based on Christian values, Christian morals, Christian ethics. Today, they are denying Jesus Christ. They're saying we're atheists. Germany, Sweden, Holland. European nations. On the other hand, look at Canada, look at Australia, and look at our next door neighbor, New Zealand. LGB was authorized and approved in New Zealand before Australia. People used to fly there to do whatever and then come back. Canberra was the first one to embrace and then followed by all the states. Coming back to this. These ten horns are going to be, one of the interpretations, going to be ten nations from the EU, European Union. This is European countries who are absolutely atheist to the core. They will go against the Lord completely. What will happen? 
they are, verse 13, these are of one mind and they will give their power and authority to the beast. These will make war with the Lamb. They have denied Jesus Christ. The Lamb of God is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. They will go and make war with the Lamb. But what will the Lamb do? And the Lamb will overcome them for He is Lord of Lords and King of Kings. And those who are with Him are called chosen and faithful. Those who are with the Lamb are called chosen and faithful. They will go against Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The whole, let me show you, <laughs> let me tell you, the whole thing that is happening at a, at a global level, it is all because of this man called Jesus Christ of Nazareth. If it was not for the Lord Jesus, you would not have seen nobody fighting, nobody coming up with viruses, nobody coming up with pandemics, nobody coming up with lockdowns. All this turmoil is because of this man. No one else. And I'm saying it out of love and respect to all the other religions. I'm saying it out of love and respect. One day, sooner or later, you'll understand. And you will know it's all about this man no one else the moment you invoke the name Jesus Christ of Nazareth all hell breaks loose all hell breaks loose the churches are always under the spotlight one small thing look at this church look what they're doing they don't want to accept this flag or that flag. And I'll burn that flag. Get out of my sight. I love everyone. My only flag is the Holy Cross. That is my flag. This is the sign of salvation and redemption. That's the only flag I'll put over my head. No other flag. And whoever claims to be a Christian and put another flag outside of the Holy Cross is the son of a snake, not a Christian. Don't ever call yourself a Christian. Shame on you. I love you, but shame on you. I pray for you, but shame on you. The church has one flag and one only, the Holy Cross. They will make war against the Lamb. Bunch of jokers, honestly. You know, I pray we all meet the Lord Jesus face to face soon. For me, I pray very, very soon. I pray very, very soon. Let me tell you, let me tell you, my beloved, when you meet Jesus Christ of Nazareth face to face, you will then and then only for sure beyond the slightest of any doubts you will know not only believe you will know because there you will see him face to face you don't need faith anymore you're going to see him face to face when you see him there you will know this is the only true living god ever to exist there has never been never will be any other god but this sweetheart, his name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You will know this. No one will tell you. No one will teach you anymore. Because Christ will reveal that to you himself. You will know this. And you will know that he was always in control from day one till the last day of existence. He was always in control. Nothing, nothing, nothing slipped out of his hand for the palm of his hand when he grabs something with his hand no one can take anything out of this hand it's the hand of God good luck go and fight against the lamb he overcame them why because he is the Lord of Lords and the King of all Kings 
If you think you are kings of the world, well, he is the king of all kings. He is the one who instates you and he is the one who plugs you out of your roots. It is the Lord who is in control. No one else. No one else. It's the Lord.